The most calm and peaceful I've ever felt in my life is in the middle of a really intense competition. Your mind has to be attuned to the game at every second. And you feel that adrenaline rush from the minute the game starts until it's over. You shake the nerves out, and then you, know, you just get out there and, and perform. There is a lot of pressure with being the goalie, but there's also the sense that you can impact the outcome of the game. It's such a beautiful game, but it's also a tough game. That's still what I love about it. There's a lot of teamwork involved, and it was just something that clicked for me. In rowing especially, you can't accomplish anything without great teammates. After playing a tough match, it's almost like a high. Coming to Georgetown where you have a bunch of other people that share the same passion, that's really when I started to love it. When I was nine, I broke the national record for the 100 meters for a nine-year-old. And since then, I've been hooked. I was not all that athletic growing up. My dad dragged me out of bed one morning, 4.45 a.m., waking up, it's cold and dark, but I went down to practice and never looked back. There's five girls in my family, some of the youngest, so I would always be on the sidelines watching my sisters play, just watching them compete, and me wanting to be better than them. <laughs> We had a family of a lot of tennis players, so I was watching tennis at, a, at an early age. In a sense, I grew up with rowing. My father was the rowing coach at Yale while I was growing up. Then, when I was in high school, he came to Georgetown. We were given sort of a drawing of the field and we had to put an X where we thought we might be interested in learning and I put an X near goalkeeper and no one else did. <laughs> so it was my lifelong uh, journey was started from there. I was looking at a couple of different schools, came down from my recruiting event. I remember very distinctly feeling like it was a very close-knit team. I learned about Georgetown, and it was a single track mind from that point on that I was going to come here for school. And as I began to progress with soccer and the soccer program started to build here, uh, to me it just seemed like the stars were aligning and this was the place for me. Georgetown was at the beginning stages of building the field hockey program. And you were starting something from scratch and seeing it blossom. One year we played Providence, who was in, I think, the top 10 or top 5, and we wound up beating them. It felt like we really accomplished something, and we made it into the national rankings for the first time in school history. It was just this awesome feeling that we could rely on each other for anything and, and build whatever we wanted to. It's funny, I was kind of the drill sergeant. It's not really who I am off the field, but put me in front of that cage and I turn into a different person. As a goalie, you're always thinking about you have to make the save. We were playing Princeton. There was an eight meter shot towards the end of the game that went wide. I remember going out, diving, getting the ground ball. There's one race in particular that I'll never forget. Coming through the key bridge, being about eight seats down to Temple, but just never panicking. And it was the first time in a race I was able to keep my head and really put all the pieces together. Our team traveled to play Notre Dame at Notre Dame for the very first time. We didn't win the game, but when we walked out there, I was looking around and thinking, all right, Georgetown's arrived. We're now a national program, we're here. We might not win today, but I know we're gonna win in the future. And in fact, Georgetown did win at Notre Dame several years ago. We knew it was gonna happen. Even if it didn't happen that day, we had to play them first. Winning Big East, winning IC4As, there's no better feeling than going out there and doing your job or even over-delivering, but contributing to the team's success. My best friends to this day are the guys from the tennis team. We enjoyed each other as much off the court as we did practicing and playing, and I think that actually led to some better performances when we, we started to click. I have a great photograph my sophomore year of the Dad Vale Regatta. We had come in second place, which was very disappointing. The photo is of us in a huddle after we'd gotten our medals. 
Those kinds of memories stuck with me 20 years after the fact. I can remember as a student and walking through the Hall of Fame and just thinking quietly to myself, how awesome would it be if I were up on that wall? I said to myself, my name's going up there. A little awe-inspiring to me that that's actually going to happen. It's a great honor to be in the Georgetown Athletic Hall of Fame. Nobody can ever take that away from you. It's just something that's with you for the rest of your life. It's, you know, one of those milestones that you will never forget. Maybe my kids will think I'm cool now. Who knows? <laughs> Being part of the Hall of Fame, it's a huge accomplishment and it's a huge honor. I brought my two young daughters down. We stopped in the Hall of Fame. And knowing that my name's going to be up there, it was such a moment of pride to get to explain to them what it meant. To be honored by the program that I love so much. It means the world to me.